There are many networking sites to choose from. Some of the popular ones include Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. As the popularity of these sites keeps on spreading all over the world, there have been mixed feelings about these networks and how they impact the youth. So, how does social media affect the youth? Let's find out! The age range of the member is 19 to 30 years old. comprising of 6 male and 4 female respondents. The objective of this analysis is to quantify or determine any difference in social activities if that exists, and the positive and negative impacts of social networking sites of the stated age range. One example is the relationship of age and sociocultural aspect of why we choose the specific social networking platform. There are a total of 35 applications or sites nominated by us. The most used in this group is Messenger, powered by Facebook. This is one of the most common instant messaging platforms that is accessible and suitable for the implementation of the new normal, which is the online setup. The following are the social networking sites or applications gathered from this group. Google, the search engine, the world's information of everything. Using a search engine is the best decision to do when you have no idea of what you're looking for. For students like us, it plays an important role by enhancing the efficiency and productivity. In fact, not just the students but also the teachers. Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, Twitter, Telegram, Snapchat, WhatsApp, Bumble, and TikTok. These applications from data can be labeled as active-passive platform. This means either the users are contributing or consuming content based on their interest. It involves staying in touch, being up-to-date, filling up spare time, entertaining by looking for contents that qualify their interests, sharing photos, videos or opinions, meeting new people like dating or it can be deeper than that, sexual conversations that will eventually lead to having sex. YouTube, Spotify, I1TFC, Pornhub, XNXX, Xvideo, Anybody, BEEG, Spankbang, VLive, Weverse, Netflix, and Kumu. These applications are audio and video sharing platforms. The difference is the content it has. Either it's pornography or they maintain a wholesome community. Canvas, Zoom, Google Meet. Since all of us are students, it has been expected for us to be engaged with these applications at least 12 hours per day. If it wasn't for the pandemic, these applications would not be part of our daily routine. These social networking sites are being utilized to any activity that is school related it is also being used exclusively for synchronous class Wattpad an online storytelling platform where you could be both the reader or the writer it is convenient for bookworms especially during this pandemic to fill up their spare time Lazada Shopee Shin Gcash, Paymaya, Call Financial, Investagram, Ritual Wallet App, Shopping App, and Trade App. All of these are linked in a way to determine financial skills and management of the youth. How are they spending their money? If at a young age, what made them decide to use applications to invest in the Philippine stock market? 
In this group, it is evident that the respondents are also mindful about organizing their finances, which is an ideal practice. Shopping applications are not a bad thing as long as it is being used with self-control. Reddit, a community which focuses solely on people's interests. A social interaction with a different approach where you can post any topic. The more people who can relate to your post, the more chances it gets recognized. The importance of each application may vary depending on the needs of a person. This analysis is focused on the importance of the social networking sites or application as a student who needs to be engaged on a regular basis. It is evident as majority of the top 10 most used apps are for educational purposes. Tabulated data are the top 10 most used online platforms of this group. Instant Messaging Messenger, Facebook, Twitter, Google Meet, Canvas, Zoom, Instagram have these features for communication. It should be no surprise that the youth spend more of their time online considering their responsibilities as a student plus the fact that they need to stay in touch with relatives and friends. Meanwhile, Netflix, YouTube, Google could be of use for their routine as students. Search engine and video sharing platforms are substantially beneficial for getting well informed of a specific topic, especially visual learners and reflective learners. Or it depends on what type of learner a student is. But these apps aren't just for educational use. Some use it to fill up their spare time and for entertainment. How your top one online SNS or app helps you as a youth. Messenger a free mobile messaging app started out as purely instant messaging, but eventually, the developer added some features to make the communication better. In this group, the answer is focused only on communicating. It sounds convenient as it promotes lesser face-to-face -face interaction, convenient in view of the current situation. Apart from being a fast communication tool, Understanding the difference between appropriate and inappropriate behavior and appreciating different perspectives could be the social skills we develop when we are using this application. How your top one online SNS app hinders you as a youth or any bad effects to you. Starting with the physical effects, it is known that using instant messaging app disrupts sleep and lessens physical activity or interaction. It will have a bad effect in our body in the long run. Some students also complain eye strains for spending too much time on these apps. Compromise safety due to the information we are required to provide when making an account. Antisocial behavior, loss of focus and productivity. And also underneath those are young people developing an impression that other people's lives are preferable to their own. Insecurities. These are some personal effects that this group observe on themselves. Peer acceptance can be a big thing to the youth. Cyberbullying is a threatening issue of peer acceptance. We text or send messages with all sorts of things that you would never in a million years contemplate saying to someone's face. The worst potential negative impact is suicide or self-harm, which is a sensitive topic that needs to be addressed. What additional feature you would want to see on your top one online SNS or app and how could it help you more achieve your purpose as a youth? Features like improvement to privacy protection settings, notification when someone took a screenshot of your conversation or photo, and compressed files like photo, video, and audio when being sent regardless of how large the file is, although these applications are life-changing. There are some improvements and features that the youth want to see. They scrutinize this imperfection throughout the time while using it. It could be of help to the app developer for better features and who knows, they might uncover more advancements. Social networking sites have been proved to have both positive 
and negative effects on our youths. One of the many positive effects is continuous communication and this avenue is tied with various benefits. It bridges the gap between people which strengthens the relationship be it personal or business relationships. Social media is a good platform of anything as it has faster communication and a wider reach. This development is good and we aim to bring light to the impacts that affects us negatively because some of it are getting out of hand and it needs to be addressed. The potential bad effects through social media communicating is, if you're communicating with strangers, it is possible that you end up building a relationship with the person you only met on social media, who can turn out to be a criminal or planning to do a bad things to you. While collecting UV data, we noticed that most of the issues of the youths are privacy protection. This means despite using it almost 24-7, the students feel unsafe using it. The youths adopt this form of communicating early and it basically deprives them of their real-life social skills not being able to hold a cohesive conversation unless the respondent is engaging through a monitor. As they grow, they are bombarded with images and stereotypes of the perfect person, not truly being able to enjoy their advantages and qualities that overpower the bad ones. Now it has gotten to the point where some cannot even hold quality relationships with people in real life because all of their friends exist on Facebook. Mental health effects are also evident to the youths nowadays. It has been proven because the number of suicides and self-harm reported have reached numbers we didn't expect. This is tied to many drawbacks. Cyberbullying and sex exploitation are one of the subjects that are getting out of hand. Generally, it can be concluded that excessive use of social networking sites or applications and the internet has had negative impacts on many people. Sa madaming mate, love kita at wala